Okay, so let's say you're given a problem like this, which says find the square root of 42 to the nearest tenth, and you're given four choices. Well, the first thing I would do, right, even before I look at the choices, is to say what the square root of 42 is between. And I know it's between, well, let's, let's test this out. I have 6 squared, which is 36. So the square root of 42 is above 6. And 7 squared is 49. 42, right, is below 49, so the square root of 42 is below 7. So it's somewhere, right, let's say between 6 and 7. And I notice that if I take 42 and I subtract 36 from it, right, I get 6, right? And if I take 49 and subtract 42 from it, I get 7, which means that the distance between right, the square root of 42 and 6 and 7 is about equal. It's about 6, it's a little bit closer to 6, but it's pretty close uh, to equal between 6 and 7. That's what we're finding here by subtracting. So if I look at my choices now, 4.2 is out. It looks like they just took 42 and put a decimal in there. I need a, a number between 6 and 7. B is 6, D is 7, and 6.5 is the most reasonable and closest choice. Notice I didn't have to get too much into calculation here because of the choices they gave us. But if you had to approximate further, you can keep multiplying. You could take 6.5 and square that, 6.4 and square that, and you keep narrowing down to any approximation that you want to use here. And you'll keep getting uh, things that are above and below 42, right? And the closer and closer you get, the further you can approximate. All right, thanks.